What's going on guys? So a little caregiving blog. Today happens to be my mom's 90th birthday. And with that comes as a caregiver, you know, obviously it's a big milestone. She's turning 90. But with dementia and with this whole journey, a lot of times these big events in our minds really don't mean anything because they don't really know what's even going on. So for today, for example, you always worry about maybe running into family members or just having any kind of friction or things not going as planned. But just know that things really never go as planned. You just do the best you can do and keep them happy. For my example today, I went and bought my mom a cake where I drove an hour to the city to pick it up and drove an hour back. There used to be a bakery that was roughly same kind of distance but in another neighboring suburb about an hour away they happened to close down so i went and researched and found a bakery that basically did just as amazing of a job as this other bakery and bought some donuts i bought like a dozen donuts and some muffins and some stuff to make sure i had something to give the other residents and maybe some of the staff members but you know just try to stoke everyone out and try to help everyone out and do good and be kind and all those residents, some of them have a lot less love than say, for example, my mom who has me in her life pretty regularly and consistently, consistent, consistently, <laughs> can't talk. It's been a long morning already. But today, basically brought her the cake in a cooler, got the donuts, you know, didn't really do a ton. I didn't wrap any gifts. I brought her some shirts that she needed. I brought her a balloon. And really less is more with this journey. You don't want to beat yourself up and put too much pressure on a day like today thinking it's going to be this big high expectation day because with dementia too, that can burn them out and that can overwhelm them and just be a little bit too much for them to actually process. So a good little moral of the story is less is more a lot of times as a caregiver and dealing with someone with Alzheimer's or dementia. So yeah, I mean, we had the cake, got every resident a little donut, got some little birthday plates yesterday that I bought for everyone. So everyone had a little stoke and some happiness and they were really, you know, happy to have some kind of nice treat like that. And sang my mom happy birthday, cut some cake and did the best we could with what we had. She probably has no clue that it's her birthday and that really doesn't matter. You just try to do what you can to give them some love and give them some, you know, good vibes and make them know that they're special and they're loved and they're beautiful and all of that good stuff. So spent some time with her and at the end of the day, kind of just called it, spent basically the morning with her and then waited until she ate lunch. And, you know, with the lunch thing too, they have a hard time eating when they get to a certain point they eat with their fingers and make a mess and really do kind of revert back to being a kid. So being patient is a huge plus in this caregiving game. It's not easy all the time because you say buy them a new shirt for their birthday and then they're just spilling stuff all over. But it is what it is. It's not a big deal. Just move on. And yeah, so this is just kind of a little journaling and i probably will post this on my channel for those that are up against the, the, um, the youtube the caregiving journey let me know if you think i should do more videos on caregiving i've been a caregiver for my father before my mom so it's probably been 15 years plus in total dealing with this and really every aspect of it at all kinds of capacities so i do know a lot i do know a lot about advocating i do know a lot about the system and medicaid and ombudsmen's and senior services and all the legalities and when to kind of look for signs of early onset dementia so i mean i don't know i feel like i do have a pretty big wealth of information that i do feel i need to get out there and share with others so hopefully it will help them not do what i did in my journey in the early stages because there's some regrets not regrets but some things i wish i would have known now that someone would have told me so i would have maybe looked at my father for my example or my mom and intervened sooner and got them help way sooner than you know i did not knowing anything so any hey so anyway let me know what you guys think 
really want to write a book one day, but I kind of almost feel like maybe starting a new channel or either adding this to my channel, even though it's a drone channel. So I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think I should do? Do you think it's worth sharing caregiving tips and caregiving advice based on everything I've learned over the years? Uh, and let me know what you think is the best way to go about that since I really don't know. But anyway, happy birthday, mom. Love you. 90 today. We got to honor those that have been on this planet for so long. Our seniors really are the rock stars of the human race. So with that being said, really respect, like we say in Hawaii, your kapuna, which is the seniors in Hawaii and the elderly, and just give them a lot of love, give them a lot of aloha and look out for them. You know, they're not just some forgotten thing that should be visited once in a while. We really should look out for them because they were just like you and me when we were younger. You know, they were beautiful, doing cool stuff, doing rad stuff. And now they're in a place where, you know, they need some help. So anyway, guys, aloha and wish my mom some good vibes on her 90th birthday. And until next time, let me know your thoughts. Peace.